Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Mac by adding links for function keys, F1 through F16 keys, and also programming what comes up in our menu bar. So to do that, I'm going to be using one of the best applications, free applications, that you can download for Mac, and it's called Butler. That you can download at the Apple website. What Butler is, is it basically gives you more advanced features of your Mac. So here we are. Here's Butler. It usually appears like this, but I'm going to jump right to the configuration screen. So, right now, we have three different things right here. The first ones at the top we'll never have to worry about, but here's where you can really program. This is where the menu bar is. You can program stuff to come up in the menu bar and always be on the left, always be in the center, or always be in the right. Natural is it comes up when you load that application, which is what you should have it on. So here we have this Mac. So if I click on this Mac, it's going to give me a bunch of options for opening things from my Mac. All right in this little key. Over here, we have bookmarks, as it says over here. And if I click on my bookmarks, these are all the bookmarks from Safari, Firefox, and IE. And even if you have another application for web browsing, it'll still come up there. It even gives you the, op op the opportunity to create a bookmark and customize it. Plus, one of the best things is this web search, which is my favorite. You can type anything in, and it will come up with the one Google search, and it searches what you typed in. If you want to program it, you can go to Engine. All you have to do is type in the name for it, type in the prefix, and type in the suffix, which you can do by doing your own search. Even if you click on the little arrow key, it gives you more things for you to choose from. You can choose Google Images, Groups, Directory, Tioma, Yahoo, Hotbot, News, Dictionaries, Computers, Shopping, and Miscellaneous. Plus, you can add your own. So you can add ask.com, you can add whatever you like, whatever you use frequently. Another cool thing is the function keys. Now, years ago on old Macs, you would know that each of the function keys can be programmed to do many things. They can be programmed to open something, they can be programmed to quit something. However, when OS X came out, they completely removed that feature that feature wasn't available anymore. Butler makes that feature available once again. To do that, under hidden, you could create a new file by clicking on the plus sign and clicking on file. Select the file you want to open. So let's just say I wanted to open Pack the Man X. How about that? Then, on the right, you have the path, the triggers, and the looks. Under looks, you could change the icon of it. And under triggers, you could you can set a hotkey, which could be an F key, a function key. So, just say, when I hit F1, I want the pack the man X to come up. So, I'm going to hit F1 on my keyboard, ignore the warning, and there you go. I could set it not to display in certain applications, or I could set it to use it in all applications. So now, when I hit F1, Pack the Man X loads up. You could do the same thing for a site by going to the plus sign and clicking site. Let's just say under URL, I'll set it to www.apple.com, just like that. 
Under Options, I'll open it with Safari. Under Triggers, I'll set it for F2. Oh, sorry, that was the abbreviation. And abbreviation, I'll set it to Safari. And then on looks, uh, let's see, built in. How about I set it to, hmm, this. That looks nice. So now when I hit F2, here it comes. Apple.com. Just like that. But that's not all it could do. You could set it to set to a hot corner. So that when you go there, there it comes. Plus, you can even have your own thing called a docklet. Now you're probably wondering what a docklet is. Well, a docklet is basically a second dock that not only contains applications, but can contain whatever you like. So, all you have to do is just Put in a couple stuff, put in this, drag this here, and there you go. You have it right here. As soon as you click on it, there you go. Now, one more thing I want to show you is basically force quitting applications. As you know, you can right click it and say force quit if it's available as an option. Or, you can go up to the Apple menu and click on Force Quit. However, if Finder isn't responding, then you can't Force Quit. Then you ha have to actually restart the computer. So, one way to get around that is by going to the plus item, going to a control, and going to... Where is it? Quit. And that'll quit it for you. Just like that. There you go. That's all you need to know. You can download Butler, like I said, for free. It is freeware. On the Apple website. And it's definitely a great thing to have. Because there's a lot of things you can do with it. And it definitely opens your Mac to a whole new... Almost like a whole new operating system. Because you could bring back what was available in OS 9 and still have what's available in OS X. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe.